Hi, Maria here. I have my special guest, Val, here. Hi, nice to see you again. <laughs> uh, today, we are going to be talking about excellent, girly Middle Eastern fragrances that work well in the spring and summer. I'm so uh, right? excited. That's exactly right. Yeah. yeah. So a lot of you have uh, commented that you are like, okay, I do not want something that's oud. So what fragrances can I look at? So these are all highly feminine, girly, flirty, fun fragrances that have no hint of that Middle Eastern oud vibe, correct? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very low on spice, very low, zero oud. It's just a girly good times. Awesome. Yeah, absolutely. And are the majority of these inspired? Uh, yes, definitely. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, let's get going. Yay! So I'm just going to start with my tried and true. This is based and inspired off one of my favorite fragrances in life, which is Chance Tendre by Chanel. This is called Chance Tenderina, and it's by Maison Alhambra. So this one I've smelt before. Okay, Chance Tenderina. Cutest name ever. <laughs> Chance Tenderina. And it's not Chance, it's Chance with a T. <laughs> Oh, that's right. Like, it's so ridiculous. It's cute. Oh, I love this yeah. one so much. This it's very nice. It'll always be one of my favorite fragrances, one of my favorite, like, scent profiles in general. Yeah, just clean, mm -hmm. a little bit of, what does this have? Does it have grapefruit? It or? has grapefruit and quince. I'm right. not even sure of the florals, yeah. but it's just such a pretty, it smells pink yeah. to me. It's yeah. just so girly. Feminine, very uh, elegant, classy. Mm -hmm. It feels also slightly relaxing to me somehow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, beautiful. To me, this is just like a wedding day in a bottle. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. And then in that vein, we have Gabrielle Canal Paris by Fragrance World. And this is duping Chanel's Gabrielle. Now, this one is more up my alley. Chance au Tendre, I've never been a huge fan. My mom loves it. Like, mm -hmm. it's nice. Uh, and that one, same thing. Like, I, I recognize that it's nice. But this one, I appreciate more. And I think it's because of the, like, is there a peachy or apricot or something like that? I think that? it does have peach. But again, uh, one of the top notes is grapefruit. Okay. That's why I particularly yep. love both of these. because You like the grapefruit, eh? <sighs> yeah, you're right. I can smell yeah. grapefruit. You're right. Mm -hmm. Like, I wouldn't have thought of that if you wouldn't say that, but I, I totally smell the grapefruit. But in the Chance Tenderina, it's definitely a sweeter, brighter pink grapefruit, yes. whereas this is more of a ladylike, clean. feminine, very clean grapefruit. Yeah. Both very classy. Typical Chanel style fragrances, definitely. Definitely. but very beautiful. Love it. And what are the longevity like on both of these? Longevity is great on both of them. Okay. I think the notes really support longevity for these. Yeah. They just... They're very strong, um, but very light and feminine. Yeah. So it's a good mix. And yeah, they're also extremely cost effective. Each of these is around $30. Yeah. So, yeah, so if you've been wanting the Chanel's, which are mm -hmm. so much more money. The question that I have for you guys is, is, have you guys noticed a major spike in cost in fragrances? Like to me, I've noticed designer mm -hmm. fragrances and I've heard a lot of people complaining about the prices and how high they've gone. Mm -hmm. So that's where I think everyone, the part of the craze of the Middle Eastern fragrances is that they are so affordable, but you're still to a large degree. Like you have to wade through them. Like in, and Val's done the work for us. So she's <laughs> it's waded a passion. through. <laughs> I'm happy to do it. <laughs> but as a result, like, um, you know, there's lots that you can get that are duds, mm -hmm. but so many of these are just, stellar so okay let's continue okay so this is quite a story speaking of my research how I came upon this I was looking for I'm really obsessed right now with like a musky scent profile like a light feminine girly barely there musky scent profile mm -hmm. and I was looking at Maison, Maison Margiela, Margiela um what's it called lazy sunday morning oh, okay i love that one and i really want it right and yeah. and i'll probably get it for myself but i always when i'm thinking along the lines of a more expensive perfume i like to take a look on fragrantica and see what it smells like mm -hmm. just in case there's something in the middle eastern world right um and this one popped up and i looked at it and i just love the look of the bottle it's yeah it's gorgeous pink the bottle's fantastic it's really it basically pretty. matches your skin <laughs> yeah i'm very pink <laughs> Um, and it's called two T O U S two floral touch. Okay. And 
I found it on Fragrance X. It was really affordable. I think it was around $30, $35. But what made me pull the trigger was that not only is it supposed to smell like mm -hmm. lazy Sunday morning, but mm -hmm. it's supposed to smell like my favorite perfume of all time, Quatre by Bichon. Oh, okay. So in the notes, you get a very sparkling strawberry. Okay. And uh, like that sold me. A strawberry floral will always have my heart. And I feel like I like this. I yeah. can't even handle that I'm going to say this. I might like this more than Quattro. I yeah. love it so much. This one's a little less watery and a little bit more clean. Right. So Shampoo. Yes, very it is. Shampoo. And bizarrely, well, first of all, I love this bottle. It's so pretty. Yeah, and it's different. Like, it's its own unique thing. Mm -hmm. um, oh, it's so good. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> the atomizer means business. And like, and then I, <laughs> I pee it all over me. Like, good grief. Lazy Sunday morning to me smells a little bit more, a, a little bit lemony and a little bit more detergenty. Okay. Whereas this has a little bit more pinkness in it. And I agree, yeah. it's got some sparkle. Um, I think that's, I actually think that that'll be one I'll probably get. It's lovely. Yeah. And I've been playing with it. I've been wearing it. It's yeah. long wearing. It doesn't change on the skin. Like okay. sometimes the, the less expensive florals will kind of go hairspray on your skin. Right. And you yeah. got to be careful about that. This one's just impressed me across the board. I love it. So this is two T-O-U-S floral touch. Cool. Okay my favorite right now. I really love that one. That is a super happy one for spring. Oh, it's gorgeous. Love it. All right. So this one we have talked about before, but it's worth mentioning again, Montagna Coco by Maison Alhambra. And this is inspired by Coco Vini by Mansara. It is a spot on dupe for that fragrance, but it's better. Yeah, it this performs good. better on me. Yeah. Mansara's, my skin doesn't like Mansara's for whatever reason but I love this. I love it too. Like, and this one's a really great price. And I love the fact that it has a mountain in it. Like <laughs> yeah. the mountain just sells it for me right here. I love that. Uh, but yeah, the fragrance is fantastic. And yeah, you had said that the, the um, longevity and whatnot is, is stellar. I have to say, I was so impressed because I was, you know, just putting this all over the other night before bed, which I often do. We all do, yeah. right? Love totally. wearing perfume to bed. I woke up the next morning and I could smell it in my hair and I could smell a trace of it on my skin and that never happens. Yeah. So I find this is very good for lasting. Yeah, Highly so recommend. just that delicious co coconut with the vanilla, but a little bit, I don't know if you find this, but I find a little hint of citrus on the top so it doesn't feel cloying. Yeah, I can see that. And that's what kind of gives it that really expensive smelling sunscreen mm -hmm. kind mm -hmm. of vibe. Yeah. I love it. I love it. So since we're talking coconut, this is a company I discovered on TikTok. They're called El Mobile. And I believe, I believe they're Middle Eastern, but based okay. out of Paris. Okay. This is the one I like the most. I tried a few different ones. I wasn't so keen on them, but this one stays in my collection because it's exactly the kind of coconut that I've been looking for. It's a sort of a dry, unsweet coconut, and it's really nice. Isn't it sexy? It's That's really, amazing. It's, oh my goodness. It's just a straight up, gorgeous, sexy coconut. It's not too sweet. It's not too milky. It's not, you know, along the lines of what's the Versace, the Crystal Noir. It's no. not, it's not masculine. It's just gorgeous. It smells photorealistic, dry, unsweet oh, coconut. And it layers beautifully. You can add it to your florals or your sweeter fragrances if you want it. I'm sorry, it got like it somehow oh, no. just went right in my nasals. Oh no. Oh yeah, <laughs> this one is amazing. You smell oh, the coconut, gosh. it doesn't smell too sweet, it's not too meaty. Yeah. And it definitely is musky, mm -hmm. uh, but but not sharp prickly musk, just to smooth kind of airy musk. Mm -hmm. Wow. I forgot to mention it is called Musk Cocoa. Yeah, um, that is fantastic. I'm so happy to have so, it. So what was the price like on these ones? I think these were around 60. Okay. Yeah, they were definitely so reasonable. Yeah. yeah. Gorgeous. Very long lasting. I've had this for a long time and I've hardly put a dent in it, but I feel like I've used it a lot. Okay. So yeah, if you're looking for something that's 
you know, a coconut that you can layer. Yeah. This is this to me would be the coconut version of Vanilla 28. Right. You're just going to be able to use it. It's gorgeous on its own. I can't wait to wear it in the summer. Yeah. But yeah. And the bottle is so, I like to me, that's Arabian yeah, Princess. Yeah, 100%. Stuff. I love it. And where did you purchase this? I went straight to their site. So El, oh, okay. El Nibiel. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that one is, I, I definitely want to get that one. It's nice. it's nice. Next we have Latafa's Mora. And okay. this is just a bright, sparkling raspberry rose. Very girly. Oh, yeah. Pretty. Oh. So pretty. Okay, I this is definitely it. one I want. Yeah. Isn't it great? Yes. Like So, so nice. this, this is in the same genre as, in my opinion, to Le Vie Belle en Rose. Okay. Yeah. So Le Vie Belle en Rose to me doesn't smell like intense mint or any of those other ones that smell like Le Vie Belle. I while I'm here today. I don't have it. Oh, that's why I we need to I take a it. trip to the, to the mall. <laughs> you can't even get it. You can't even get it anymore oh, in, really? in store. You never know. The Bay might have it. Okay. Uh, but I, I think the Bay went out of it. But anyway, um, it's that rose raspberry combo, slight, like not watery, kind of a sweeter jammy rose, but somehow refreshing at the same time. Well, I think it's like when the right <sighs> blend of raspberry and young rose, yeah. like rosebud, that's what I'm getting out of this. Yes. So it's, it's like, this would be an ideal first perfume for a girl. I agree. You know, but it women can wear it too. It's and definitely just, rose for sure. So you got to like the rose, but I think that's so pretty. But yeah, it's a very sweet, bright, yeah. like really sparkling. It's, Love it. It's not, it, it's certainly not a matronly rose. No, not no, at all. And nice. how, how is that one for longevity? This is a lighter one. Okay. Yeah, you'd need to re reapply it, but it's still, the fragrance itself is so beautiful that it's okay. I like and that way better than, what was the one that I bought? Velvet Rose by Latafa. Oh yeah. With the... And in the end, I just, there was something in it that was just sickly to me. Whereas that one is what I was looking for. All right. Okay, good. Woo! I'm glad you found it. We've talked about this before, but it's worth, it bears repeating that this is a stunner. I think this is good for all year round, but especially in the summer. And this is Badi Al Oud Latafa Sublime. Like as soon as you smell it. Yeah. It's like somebody's cut open a red, red apple. Mm -hmm. And it's so sweet and candied, but the beautiful floral yeah. nuances. I love this Yeah, one. I have to get this one too. It's incredible. You can it's take so a sample good. from me today sure. if you want. Yeah, it's a big bottle. Yeah, so juicy, so like celebratory and fun. Mm -hmm. But like Val had said it the last time and I agree with her this time, uh, it smells like a candied apple to me. Yeah, definitely. So you're getting that candy aspect. Yeah, love it. Beautiful. All right, so in the juicy fruit vein, we've got bright peach Maison Alhambra, which of course is inspired by what did you call it last time? <laughs> Bitter peach? No, that's no, what it is. That called. is what it is called. You, I think you dirty called it dirty peach, peach or something. <laughs> Knowing peach. Tom Ford, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is is so good. It's so perfect. There is yeah. a bitter aspect to this, but to me, it's like peach oh, candies. Yeah. Um, but a little bit more complex than that. It's mm -hmm. it's excellent. What I've got to get that one too. It's so good, and this one's so affordable. Like this was less than forty bucks, I think. Yeah, and to me, that one is just the perfect fragrance for summer. Like the just really cool so. Too. It's not too much. Yeah, it's it's a, it's a must have for summer. It's in my so opinion. so good. All right, and we'll keep on with the juicy fruits. So vibrant vetiver delight. This is getting better. Like I've had this since Christmas, and now in February, this is getting deeper and prettier. I like it more. I do consider this unisex. Yeah, a man could wear this, and it would be nice. Yeah, but it's just nice and clean, fresh, out of the shower. Yeah. The clean girl aesthetic. Absolutely. Is that what they call it? That's what they call it. I'm not a clean girl. <laughs> <laughs> no. I always think it white, is nice though. white yeah. t shirt and like Levi's. Totally. Like bright, light blue Levi's. A hundred percent. And just like yeah. Girl next door. Nineties supermodel. Uh -huh. Just that's yeah. That whole thing. 
And you know, when you're in the mood, it's perfect for that. <laughs> similar to that, this is a similar feel to that whole vibe we just described. It's called Zeno by Maison Alhambra, but it's inspired by Zen by Shiseido, which is a very celebrated fragrance by certain fragrance reviewers. I've heard people talk about it. Demi Rowling talked about it as one of her favorites. I've got to go get it. Go we've get got it. to compare it. Go get it. Okay, the one thing that I want to say about some of these, sometimes I feel like Latafa loses their mind. No, not Latafa. Just these companies. So uh, Yara, for instance, with Latafa mm -hmm. did really, really fantastic. But it's like, what, 30 bucks? Yeah. So all of a sudden, uh, I don't know if it was Paris Corner or something like that. They came out with a Latafa Yara dupe. But they were charging 45 they, Yeah, I saw that too. And I thought, I'm not doing that. And I'm like, what? So same thing. Like, so Zen, a lot of times Zen is like just like cheap. Is it dirt cheap? Dirt okay. cheap. So I'm dying to smell this because I have heard rave reviews about it. Honestly, I don't mind it. Okay, let me smell it. So this is the Latafa or the Maison the, Alhambra. This one is? That is, yeah. I don't mind the Zen. I don't mind it, and but I, I, what I appreciate about the Maison Alhambra one, they actually do smell quite a lot of light. They do actually. What yeah. the heck? <laughs> Somehow I, I don't know, like maybe it's just cause I haven't smelt it in a long time, right but in the, the past I, I thought it smelled really sharp. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll tell oh, you and that. I can smell the pineapple. I can smell pineapple off both of them. And here's, here's the honest truth. So this one I've had in my collection for quite a while. I recognized it as a dupe of this one. I was excited to try it because I heard the rave reviews. I got it and I was like, huh, hey, that's, that's not very special. There's nothing right. really stand out about it. And I kind of put it in my box under the bed to, to look at later. And recently I heard a fragrance reviewer talk specifically about the Maison Alhambra one. And she went on talking about the petrichor and the, okay. you know, the beautiful after the rain fragrance with a hint of pineapple. And I went and I dug it out and I'm like, well, 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 I have a new perfume to love. Mm -hmm. Like I fell in love with it. But Which first, one was which? Do you remember? I think the pointy one is the Maison Alhambra. Okay. So I rediscovered it and I'm like, this is not my favorite, but at the same time, really sneaks up on you as an uber feminine, yeah. richy rich kind of a yeah. feel. Like it smells almost niche yeah. to me. I, I'm, I'm shocked, first of all, that they, because when I, <laughs> I love it. so I smelled Val's the other day and when I smelt it, I thought, this doesn't smell anything like Shiseido Zen because I associated Shiseido Zen with a sharp uh, tea-like note that just kind of did something weird to my head. Whereas her version, the Zeno, I, I got some vanilla and some sweetness, a little bit of warmth from it. So then I'm like, oh, okay, she's going to laugh because they're so not alike. And now I'm like, they are quite similar. And I'm actually really liking, well, they both smell similar, but I'm really liking Shiseido Zen now. So it's possible I've just changed, you know? Well, I certainly changed when it came to this one. Yeah. And so we both rediscovered a new perfume yeah. that we can love. Thanks, Val! Well, how cool is that? That is awesome. What about you guys? Have you tried Shiseido Zen? Do you like it? Totally want to know what you think or alternately mm -hmm. this one. I just pulled up the notes just because it's a curiosity for me because nothing smells like this. Yeah. And we're kind of going off on our experience of this perfume or the, both these perfumes without really saying what it smells yeah. like. There is definitely a pineapple note in the top. And here we go again. Grapefruit. I mean, if right. there's grapefruit, I'm going to be there, right? So uh, pineapple, orange, rose, freesia, red apple, lily of the valley. Um, there's cedar, musk, amber, incense, pine, patchouli. There's a lot going on in this. Yeah. And it smells that complex. And clearly it's a phantom. It's coming in and yeah. out for both of us. So, And I think that Shiseido Zen is uh, discontinued. I think. I've heard that too. Yeah. yeah. So if you're a huge fan, this would be an excellent option. But then, yeah. of course, it's way more affordable. So. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. And the bottle, you've got the clear on one side and the gold on the other. It's really, it's, I wouldn't call this polarizing, but I'd call it curious. Yeah. It's, it's a really unusual one. And at the end of the day, sophisticated would be the, the word. I agree. You know? And a little bit spa-like. Yes. Yes. Very. And zen. 
yeah goes oh, right I guess, along with that I guess yeah, yeah I, I forgot about sense. that part <laughs> <laughs> okay so I've brought this one before I know this isn't your favorite scent profile this is a mall by Ard Alzafarin and it is a spot on my way dupe and I I prefer it to my way I have my way and my way intense and I find this one does bubblegum tuberose just like no yeah. other I love this one does it have pear in it I don't know I don't know. Yeah, it's a very beautiful, uh, just, it smells like my way to me. Yeah. So, excellent dupe. Uh, what's And you like this better than my way? I like it better. The longevity is better. Um, where my way might go weird on the skin, like you say it does for you. Yeah. And uh, at time to time, it does for me too. If right. I'm drier or whatever, this one doesn't. Yeah. It's just as pretty right on the skin as it is out of the bottle and it lasts and lasts it's an it, like such a compliment getter yep. this is just pure femininity to me so a beautiful pink floral yep. love 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 a white floral with a pink juice <laughs> yeah like the the my way I've always enjoyed in fact I wanted to like as soon as I smelt it the first time I'm like oh I've got to try this and I thought for sure it was going to be a hit for me because it's yeah right up my alley so that would be a better option to me and yeah to me that one is perfect yeah. for spring and summer so feminine and just uh it's casual it's something you could wear every day same thing with that um is it anara the the this that one? one it's called mora mora yeah so this one to me again is a great everyday perfume that works at the office you're Absolutely. gonna smell amazing yeah i love it yeah yeah, and I like that this one too is such a good blend between like a grown up woman and girl. Yeah. Like it's, it really runs the gambit for sure. Next, I thought I would try these out. I've got two different ones here, and we'll start with this one. They are, as you can recognize from the cube, inspired by Narciso Rodriguez. Right. So I found Narciso Rodriguez Musk challenging, mm -hmm. and I decided I'm really going to work with that and see okay. what I think and start with these dupes from Maison Alhambra. And I am not disappointed. I love them. So this first one is duping Narcisa Rodriguez Ombre, which is the classic musk Narcisa Rodriguez signature musk base with some tropical florals. I'm not mad at that. It's pretty. It's I'm it's surprised creamy. that I'm not mad at that. <laughs> I've never been a fan of most of the Narcisa mm -hmm. Rodriguez. This mm -hmm. is smooth. Definitely get the musk. Beautiful. It's so pretty. And I'll give you, um, like, it's, tr it's a tropical anywhere? floral. Yeah, you got to try it out. On skin, I these don't have really... room anywhere. Oh, no. On skin, what I am finding is that the these really bloom because they're musk-based. Right. It's a tropical floral. So we've got frangipani, ylang-ylang, and white florals, musk, amber, cashmere, and vanilla, and cedar. Mm -hmm. I think it's the cedar that really can turn me off. Okay. When it comes to Narciso, my first Narciso fragrance was just the standard Narciso white cube. Right. At first, I hated it. Right. I really hated it. And then recently, I tried it on, and I couldn't believe how gorgeous. I couldn't believe it. But it took me two years yeah. to get to a place where I could, you know, my, my palette has developed. Yeah. Um, so I would recommend that one if you can find it. I'm pretty sure that one's discontinued. Right. But it made me curious enough to try the others. Yeah, for sure. Um, and I'm a, you know, tropical floral girl. Yeah, for so sure. This one is really yeah. velvety. Velvety is a great word for it. Love I agree. It. So that is ombre. And then we have the rouge version. Okay. So with Narcisa Rodriguez, it would just be rouge, I think. You I, like it? Oh, I like it. But you know what? The, when I first got it, I put a fair bit on and then I went out and I went to the post office and I'm like, I'm out here smelling like a pad with wings. Like, <laughs> I really Seriously? Like, this is too... Pad with wings. <laughs> you know what I mean? Woo! <laughs> we fly. <laughs> like, I totally <laughs> felt like it smelled like that heavy synthetic baby right. powder that you yeah. get. You know, you know what I'm talking yeah, I about. I know what you're talking about. And then... I couldn't stop. Like I got home and I just was like curiously smelling and trying it on more. And now I'm just in love with it. I don't feel like I smell like a pad with wings yeah. anymore. But that's, you know, that's we take hilarious. journeys with our fragrances. That was the start of the journey. <laughs> now what's, what's in this one? 
Um, this one's more of a lipsticky one. Oh, okay. Right? And let me just pull up the notes and I'll let you know. I definitely like the amber one better. This one isn't for me. This one is heavier on the vanilla and the powder. Okay. So it's um, top notes of iris and Bulgarian rose. Oh, okay. Musk, tuberose, orange blossom, tonka, vanilla, white cedar extract, cedar, sandalwood, and vetiver. It's not what I gravitate towards, but I don't think it's terrible. And I would have to try it on skin. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. This is, to me, this is like straight up Cruella de Vil. I get you. Like it's old school feminine yeah. and the iris plays a big part yeah, in that. Yeah, I agree. Like for me, I've never been a fan oh. of the cubes. I'm not a huge musk fan either, mm -hmm. although I am starting to like it more than I ever did. Mm -hmm. So it, yeah, interesting. <laughs> We have this gorgeous, gorgeous bottle. So this is Emir's La Charme, and it is inspired by a chant for the nymph by Gucci, which is yet again, a tropical floral. So if they have this one, they must have the black bottle. Probably they do, because I think I've seen a few other ones yeah. like this. So this is just no disappointments across the board. I'm so happy with this. The cap is really heavy too. Um, the overall presentation is just pure luxury. Yeah. Um, and the fragrance itself is very rich smelling, very luxurious, tropical floral. Yeah, this one, this one I'm not a fan of either. Uh, that said, if you're a tropical for floral, I'm sorry, Val. That's okay. Um, if me. you're a tropical floral fan, yeah. this would be, and this one's super popular, like the Gucci mm -hmm. one, hugely popular. But for me, this is too much floral. Frangipani right at the top, yeah, right? Yeah, for sure. It's only got four notes. Tiare, flower, ylang, ylang, frangipani, and vanilla. Yeah. And I love that. I can't get enough yeah. of that kind well, of... Well, that's totally your thing. It really is. This one is a little sharper, for it sure, is sharper. than the other ones, but... For me, my favorite in that Gucci oh, line is the it. black one. And I can't remember what it's called, but, like, it's a spicy kind of chipoli. Chipoli. <laughs> See, I told you. I told you. I'm uh, from the view. You smell like chipotle. <laughs> Come here, let me smell your chipotle. <laughs> But anyway, oh uh, the black one, and I think it has something to do with a snake. It's a it, serpent uh, something. That sounds really but familiar. It's, it's, I know it I've looked at it. It smells like, I don't know, some fairy goddess doing weird things in the garden. I don't know, It's but it's it smells <laughs> spicy as I recall, and I'm sure it had patchouli. Okay. But anyway, yeah. Yeah, see, I've got to be really careful around patchouli, and you don't mind patchouli, right? Well, bizarrely, I actually do like patchouli. Like, yeah. uh, but it doesn't register to me as dirty. Like, a lot of people talk yeah. about dirty patchouli. I'm like, to me, it just smells spicy. So I like, and straight up patchouli, I'm not a huge fan of. But right, right. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It depends to me. Like, if it's like, I always say I like patchouli blended into La Vie Belle. Yeah. I know it's present. I can smell it. I can pick it out. But it's blended so beautifully that I'm okay with it. Yeah. Whereas if it's like a dark, like patchouli and rose together, no thank you. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not there. But it depends. Like, it, it, it always depends. Yeah. So here we are with the final one. This has been on my list to purchase for about a year and I finally got it. And I am so, wow, so happy. Any of you who know, who recognize this bottle already, you know the joy of this fragrance. This is Ajmal Sacrifice for Her. And this is a gorgeous, stunning, spot on dupe of Mugler's Alien, the original formulation. It's just <sighs> awesome. It's incredible. And look at this bottle. How cool is that? The purple. Like, it's beautiful. It's, it's so good. To me, it smells like totally old school uh, alien. Stunning. <laughs> Stunning. Super high quality. Yeah, it's oh, so amazing. good. And, and so what was the price on this one? Oh, this is a 50 mil, but I believe it was $35. I got it on Fragrance X. Like, and that's Canadian. Yeah. yeah. Like, so yeah. it's going to be like 25 bucks for you guys in the yeah. States. Like, yeah. you cannot go wrong. It's amazing. It's amazing. This is top of the list today because I'm so happy I have it. Yeah. I have to sit on my hands to not buy three backups because it's yeah. that good. Yeah. If you're yeah. a fan, fan of Alien and you missed the old one, you should try this one. Plus, it's such a great price. You really can't go wrong. So, so out of all, did you say there's 15 here? There's 15, yeah. Okay, out of all of them, what would you, 
what would you say is your top five girly picks? Oh my gosh. Where it's just like, these are great, never fail ones for spring and summer. I'm in love with the two floral touch. Absolutely, I'll never get sick of this as long as I live. So, okay. and then along the sort of pink floral girly, I really love the Aj the Amal by Art Alzaparn. Right. Really love that one. I can never get enough of smelling like I'm on vacation and I'm wearing tons of sunscreen and drinking pina coladas. Yeah. So here we are. I love this. I love this. Okay. I won't make you hold them all oh, unless you want, want to. Be your Vanna White. <laughs> And I'm going to just be honest, for the long haul, it's the Chanel dupes that really have my heart. Yeah. So these, yeah, these five, I awesome. really love, really love. How about just you? Just excellent. Well, first of all, I would say that your picks are fantastic because uh, for, for most women, I can see them loving this one. Yeah. If they love my way, same thing. Well, all of these, like the, this is an excellent dupe, I think. Mm -hmm. I think I would pick the Raspberry Rose. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I would go with this one. I'd go with that coconut musk one. It's so good. If you, for so summer, good. this yeah. is just stellar. Um, I really love Bright Peach. Oh, yeah. And um, I'm so impressed by the Alien that I'd be tempted to choose that one, but I honestly think I'd choose the um, Sublime. Yeah, it's good. Just for it's... a really fun... So these are just all stellar so basically we have mm, uh so good we like we picked almost 10 mm -hmm. so all different ones and they're all just excellent so so impressed you can't go wrong if you like the narciso rodriguez ones uh and want a, a you know a cheaper option these are great but like that choco musk what i like about that one is it just seems like something i haven't smelled before coco musk, coco musk. yeah 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 so in the tooth one i just loved the bottle Mm -hmm. uh such a gorgeous bottle and kind of a sparkling yeah so lo like what a great selection so tell us what you guys are interested in what is it that you're going to get what if you've tried these please weigh in and tell us what you think because that's always always helpful um yeah like these are if you're looking for spring and summer and that's the thing this is the time of year where i just mm -hmm. automatically start to head towards thinking spring and summer so me too thank me you too. so much oh it's been so much fun and yeah for sure if you have picks in the middle eastern realm for girly summery perfumes i want to know yeah please let us know yeah. um because yeah so far i'm really loving these but i know there's a lot more out there and i want to know and you guys have great taste so lay it on us yeah for sure i i agree if you guys have recommendations we definitely want to hear about it so Thank you so much, Val. No, oh, thanks for having me. It's always so fun. <laughs> so fun. Have an amazing week. Bye. We'll talk to you soon. Okay. How much more slow could I go? <laughs> okay. okay. Well, like today I feel like smelling like a pad with wings. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I don't know if I was just tired to begin with. But from all the smells today, I'm like... <laughs> Dope, Dre. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like that's... Now, who puts who puts this one out? Ajmal. <laughs> <Ooh, ooh, ooh. laughs> <laughs> <Cut my back. laughs> like, seriously, I feel like I'm gritting like an idiot. Like, We're drunk. <laughs> we are drunk on fragrance. We don't oh. drink alcohol for the most part. We do this kind of alcohol. <laughs>